On April 15, 1945, the British 11th Armored Division liberated Bergen-Belsen, one of the worst Nazi concentration camps, which epitomized the true bestiality and horrors of the Nazi regime and its death camps. The British forces found 13,000 unburied dead bodies and almost 60,000 prisoners who were sick and starved. Thousands of other inmates died of various diseases such as typhus and tuberculosis during the months that followed the camp's liberation. The British forces managed to capture male and female Nazi guards responsible for these horrors and forced them to help bury the dead bodies in mass graves. One of these SS guards was Irena Hashke, another sadistic Nazi criminal. Irena Hashke was born on 16th of February 1921 in Friedeburg, then part of the German Empire. She became a member of the League of German Girls, which was the female section of Hitler Youth. This official youth organization of the Nazi Party in Germany indoctrinated young people with Nazi racial ideology and managed to turn a generation of German kids, such as Irena Hashke, into Nazis. When they grew up, they were willing to commit horrific crimes in the name of what they believed to be the Aryan master race. Hashka worked in a textile factory until August 1944, when she joined the SS. She was trained to become a guard, and on February 28, 1945, she arrived in Bergen-Belsen. Here, she supervised a wood commando working outside the camp, and then she started to work in the kitchen. She was accused of numerous crimes and was infamous for beating the poor inmates without any reason. Any sight, word, or even silence could make her angry, and with her rubber truncheon, she would beat everyone around. When they fell, she started to kick them until they were unconscious. Once, she saw a starving female prisoner getting a few drops of soup. Hushka knocked the soup over and poured it onto the ground. Then she hit the poor inmate with her rubber truncheon. On another occasion, she saw a female inmate trying to take potato peelings. Hashka picked her up and threw her into a water cistern. The poor prisoner was drowned. The situation in Bergen-Belsen was so desperate that there was even a shortage of water. The inmates could not drink water from the cisterns because it was dirty. Even though the SS had access to drinking water from an iron water pump behind the kitchen, the prisoners were dying of thirst. When Hushka was asked why she did not tell anyone about it, she responded that the water was only for the kitchen and added that two guards were protecting it from being used by prisoners. Rather than share this water source with the inmates, they let them die. After Bergen-Belsen's liberation, Irena Hushka was captured by the British forces together with her fellow Nazi criminal colleagues, such as Irma Greza, who used to kick the prisoners with her heavy boots and beat them with her woven leather whip, which was covered in cellophane so that human blood could be easily washed from it. She was tried at the Belsen trial, which began on the 17th of September, 1945. Hushka refused to confess to any of the charges brought against her, and when asked about her cruelty, she only admitted to having hit the starving prisoners with a stick when she saw them around the cookhouse trying to steal. The British military tribunal found Irena Hushka guilty and sentenced her to 10 years imprisonment. Unlike Irma Greza, she avoided the death sentence and at the end spent only five years in prison until she was released in December 1951. Nothing more is known about her later life. But we can be sure that when Irena Hushka died, there were no tears shed for her. Thanks for watching the World History Channel and don't miss our next videos. Click the subscribe button now for more interesting clips. Give us a like and see you in the following episode.